Hello everyone. Welcome. Today, we're tackling a tricky topic. We'll be looking at how to install Xcode on Ubuntu. Xcode is Apple's Integrated Development Environment IDE. It's mainly for Mac OS. But what if you're an Ubuntu user and want to develop iOS apps? It's not a straightforward process. Apple doesn't offer a direct Linux version. So, we will explore alternative methods to achieve this. This involves using virtualization or cloud-based solutions. Let's dive in. First, understand the limitations. Xcode is designed for Mac OS. Running it on Ubuntu requires workarounds. We can't install it natively. One popular method is using a virtual machine. VirtualBox or VMware are viable options. You'll need to download and install one of these. Then, you'll need a Mac OS image. You can legally obtain this if you own a Mac. After you have the image, create a new virtual machine. Configure it with sufficient RAM and storage. Install Mac OS on the virtual machine. This process can take some time. Once Mac OS is running, you can download and install Xcode from the Mac App Store within the virtual machine. Another option is using a cloud-based Mac OS service. Companies like MassinCloud offer remote access to Mac OS environments. These services usually involve a subscription fee. But they eliminate the need for virtualization on your local machine. You can access Xcode through a remote desktop connection. This might be preferable if your computer has limited resources. Setting up either method requires some technical knowledge. There will be some performance limitations. A virtualized environment won't be as fast as a native macOS system. Cloud services depend on your internet connection. Expect some lag. Remember to keep your virtual machine or cloud environment updated. Regular updates improve security and stability. Developing iOS apps on Ubuntu is not ideal. But these methods provide a workaround. Choose the method that best suits your needs and technical skills. Consider your budget as well. Cloud services can be more expensive than setting up a virtual machine. Ensure that your hardware meets the minimum requirements for running a virtual machine smoothly. Now you have a couple options. Experiment and find what works best for you. Good luck with your iOS development journey on Ubuntu. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it informative, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Your support helps us create more content like this. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos.